Hey everyone, this is American Wire. Michael Knowles and the other panelists get into this heated debate with this crazy leftist. Go watch. I would challenge her to see if she could possibly articulate how and what crime Trump committed. Because so far, Alvin Bragg, the DA, has failed to do so. The, the judge in the case, Judge Mershon, has failed to do so. And they can't do it because Trump didn't commit any of the crimes for which he's been convicted. Well, let's just ask quickly before we go to Kevin. Francesca, just on that point, what crime did Trump commit? He, it was it was camp it was financial crimes it was white collar crimes it, it, it what that was that is it? exactly Which what one, they though? charged him it was he was convicted on what was the crime it's New York State law no, I understand it, what's the it, what was the crime it is New Francesca I, gotta, I, actually I don't even like it, it is well, hang on, hang on, he just got convicted on thirty four counts Francesca what of, was the of, crime of, ac of like cooking the actual books what was the crime you are not allowed so you are not allowed to to use your own financial, like your own money to pay off somebody. And then he wrote, he, he logged it as something different. He logged it as just a regular payment, but he was actually paying off this star to keep quiet, which if he hadn't been running for president would not have mattered, but he was. And so it impacted campaign finance laws in New York state. Okay, that is what Juan Merchan just oversaw this. Okay. Alan Bragg okay. brought these charges that's, because that's Michael not, Cohen that's not quite was happened. already okay. sentenced okay. to three years okay. to do it. Okay, let's just go before, uh, Kevin, I'd be very, very, very patient. But I will I'm come no, to you. Look, I'm no expert. Let me just say, hang on, no, no, Michael. You are Michael, no expert, by that's the, the campaign finance wait, 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 law is a wait, federal wait. law. Hang on, <laughs> anyway, Francesca, yeah. I want to go to Mark. You're the lawyer. Has anything Francesca just said, is that actually the crime? Look, let me just say, I like Francesca a lot. I was, and we probably agree on 80% of our worldviews. However, Francesca, that that what, the way you just described it, call me afterwards and I'll educate you because that's not what happened. There was no theory that was given to the, to the jurors. The jurors were told it could have been campaign finance. It could have been tax. It could have been false books. They were told they didn't have to specify and specifically told they did not have to agree unanimously. That's what irks me. Lifelong Democrat, no fan of Trump, never voted for Trump, never will. But I will tell you, as somebody who has spent his entire career with kind of taking on unpopular causes and holding the government accountable, um, I have to tell you, I do that for a reason. And it, the reason is this kind of shenanigans, and that's the best light I can spin it, on in, in the criminal courts has no place in a federal election. When she was asked what was the crime, her response in the first minute, her response is exactly how all liberals are responding in the sense that it's New York law. 34 counts he was convicted of, right? And it's so pathetic because they're ignoring the fact on how the judge tainted this whole thing. I mean, the lawyer that was talking is spot on. The judge told them <laughs> that they didn't have to convict on any per se thing that Trump did, it could be almost like the Trump was, I mean, almost like the judge was saying, it can be assumption, it could have been this. And even if you think it could have been that or this, then they <laughs> you should be guilty. And I don't know, I love watching uh, law type movies. I've never seen a court case where someone was convicted um, only if it was a unanimous vote. Already, the question mark is all over this thing when judge says that he they can um, not be unanimous in their voting. They can be, um, so it doesn't have to be a unanimous vote to have it be guilty. I mean, come on. The way this lady responded, she was just, she didn't know how to answer. She did not know how to give the right answer to prove her case. And that lawyer that talked on this um, video in that panel, he, that was, it was so good to hear his explanation because he's a true Democrat too.